Nearly all governments around the world are advising their citizens that vaccines are the best protection from H1N1, commonly known as swine flu. But many doctors and nurses are refusing the shot themselves. Governments do like epidemics and just seem to like war, really. It's a chance to impose their will on us and get us all scared so that we huddle together and uh, you know, do what we're told. London-based doctor Damien Downing says he's been advising patients in his Harley Street practice to increase their vitamin D intake rather than get a vaccine which he believes has been rushed. I haven't seen the data and I don't believe that the data is there to prove that it is safe. There are a lot of uh, people out there who have reported adverse reactions already. In Sweden, those adverse reactions have included eight people who died in the days after receiving GlaxoSmithKline's Pandemrix vaccine. Although Sweden's health regulator denied any link, explaining that all patients were on chronic medical treatment and there is nothing to support a causal association between the vaccination and the death. It's not only many health workers worried about H1N1 vaccines. The Prime Minister of Poland says his government won't be buying any, citing a lack of thorough testing. In an effort to allay fears of the 2.5 million Hajj pilgrims heading their way, the Saudi health minister was one of the first to receive a very public vaccination to prove it's safe. Qatar and Saudi Arabia are distributing the vaccine called Pandemrix. It's the same vaccine as that which was used in Sweden. It contains ingredients called thiamersal and adjuvants, which are seen as controversial by some, but fully approved for use by the World Health Organization. We believe that all vaccines which have been licensed for use are safe. The World Health Organization's Gregory Hartle says any lingering reluctance to the vaccine is being overcome with around 70 million doses distributed worldwide. It's difficult to explain. It's a very personal decision whether or not to get vaccinated. For us, the logic is quite clear. Uh, vaccines can prevent death and the side effects, when there are side effects, and it's rare that there are side effects, are mild. For many other national health authorities witnessing huge demand for vaccines, an inability to secure enough supplies is the biggest challenge being faced. Dan Nolan, Al Jazeera, Doha.